forward, backward, bound. So I'm going to keep this drill really simple. And what we're working here, we need no equipment, just need even a little bit of space. But you're going to work a forward and a backward bound. So a lot of times we work lateral bound. This time we're going to stay square. So if I stayed square to the camera, we're going to jump off of one leg, land on the other, and push back to it. So forward, backward, bound. This drill is really working on anticipation, a plyometric response, being explosive, but a lot of body awareness too. Because what's going to happen is we go forward, our hips will shift, and then they'll come back. And if we miss that, if we're too late or too early, that will mess us up and how and where we land. So this can uh, you know, also be used as understanding where our body positioning needs to be when we cut. Because if we land and I cut and I stay my weight over the top, I'm in a good position. If I land too far out in front, I'm going to get myself in trouble. My knee's not in a great position and I don't have my weight over the top. So one or two things will probably happen. I'll fall on my back, which would be great or I'm probably gonna take my motion that way as my knee collapses in, which would not be good. So it's a lot, of, a lot of things going on, but keep it a fairly simple drill. Just start small and then work bigger. So what I want you to understand is as I jump forward and I land, my hips roll over the top, I keep my weight over the top, my shoulders over my hips, my hips over my toes, I stay on the ball of my foot, I keep my heel off the ground, and I'm gonna sink with my hip that means my knee bends, my ankle bends, and I sink and I keep my weight over. And then I'm going to use that glute and my quad, my calf, to push backwards, hit with my toe. But guess what? My weight is still staying over the top. So I'm not leaning back because that would get me in a bad position. So I go here, I sink, I land, push back, and come back. And now with my arms, what they're going to be doing as I go, we're just working a little bit of a running motion. And like I said, it's really a prerequisite to a cut. It's more explosive. You wouldn't really jump into a cut, but it's getting yourself in that right position, understanding how your foot should land and being explosive through it. So keep it real simple. You do both legs. So if I do my left leg in front and my right leg back, I'd switch. Maybe I'd do 10, and 10 forward and back on each leg. Um, but really from there, as I get get better and better. I start small, working over the top, work bigger, work faster through the drill. And the last little tip I'll talk to you about is really keep that toe pointed forward. Don't externally rotate. You're not, you're not turning it in. You're just trying to keep it forward. Stay on the ball of that foot and you anticipate that ground to hit and pop backwards. So as you're working this, like I said, keep it simple. Work that explosive movement. Understand where your hips need to be, where your weight needs to be, and it's a great drill to work preparing for that cut and being explosive in and out of it.